Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitches TV. Today on Stitches TV, we are going to make this backless, look at that, swimsuit. Now this is what I did to make the pattern. I just got bikini bottoms and a bikini top. I tried them on. I measured how much the distance was between my bikini top and the top of my bottoms, if you know what I mean, at the front. And then I spread them out, that amount, and then made a pattern like this. Now if you want your pattern to be stitched at the sides, then you stop where my pattern stops, but if you want it to have ties at the side, then you have to make it a bit longer. So this swimsuit is made out of two fabrics that are cut right sides together. It is so important that you notch your fabrics when they're aligned perfectly together. Put notches because when you're stitching your elastic on and when you're stitching the fabrics together they really will want to slip around a lot and it's not good using pins it really isn't maybe use the clips um, because it just bunches up to the pins now for the ties um, I've got a sewing tutorial on how to do stretch spaghetti straps. Now look how strong and stretchy they are. In these straps, I've actually used quite a thick, more sturdier swimwear elastic than I have on the actual swimsuit because they're taking quite a lot of stretching and pulling. Right, I'm going to show you now the areas where we're going to add the elastic. So we're going to add it across the top here, which is the neck. We're going to add it down the sides here, both sides. We're going to add it around this curve, but we're going to stop here. Now if you're not adding ties, then your, your pattern will probably stop there. But our elastic we're going to stop here same on the other side as well and I've put a notch there to signify where I'm stopping and then we're going to begin again and come down the leg but I'm going to stop a little bit short maybe an inch short of the end of my crotch and then you do the same on the other side and you definitely do not stitch across the bottom here So for the back, which is basically the back of any bikini that we would have used to trace off, again, if you're not doing ties, then it's just going to stop there, isn't it? But we've added ties. So I want our elastic to go around this side, which is on the bottom, as in the bum bum, and then along that side. But look, I want them to stop where the notch is there before it goes on to the ties. I do that because otherwise I think it's quite bulky. And then the last place that we're going to be adding the elastic is around the back of our swimsuit here. Right, let's begin. Now, before we begin sewing, um, there are a couple of things I want to tell you. One is we're going to use a zigzag stitch today, quite a large one, a little bit smaller than whatever elastic you use which brings me on to the elastic you need to use well it's better if you use this swimwear elastic it's just kind of like rubber and I think you can get it from most haberdashery suppliers and then the other important thing is that you use a needle for sewing stretch fabric that's very very important or you won't be doing anything at all. 
Right, so we're ready to sew. And when we begin, I did show you in the previous video where I was talking about um, other versions of this swimsuit, I've got a mega trick. If you haven't got one of those special sewing feet where you thread the ribbon or the elastic through, this is quite good. Right, so I'm starting up on the neckline, okay? I'm feeding it into the gap on a normal sewing foot whilst, let me put that down. See how it is in there? So whilst lining up my fabric, so it's perfectly in line the fabric underneath. My fabric is right sides together, look, not just lining up. But I'm just starting a little bit of a seam allowance in there, okay? And my um, seam allowance is the width of this elastic, which I'm not going to pull, but there is a tiny bit of tension there. My sewing machine is on a wide zigzag, which hopefully is the width of the elastic and I'm just giving it a little bit but hardly anything and then I'm going to keep checking my work to line up the notches so this is up on the neck yeah you can see why we have these notches can't you now you need to practice this, it does require a bit of skill. But I really don't think it's that difficult. But do, do practice it first. So where I'm going to stop is about there. So I'm stopping a seam allowance away from the edge. But look at this. Look, that is so good, isn't it? Now, if you're going to nick this sewing tip and go and put it on your 10-minute or 5-minute crafts or whatever, can you give me a credit, please? <laughs> now, I found it easier just getting all the elastic in and then just snipping off these little top bits and passing the ties in afterwards. And then, because you do need to sort of reinforce them, put a bit of interfacing in there, and then stitch them as well. So the next thing we're going to do then is get our elastic and start making our way down both of the sides, whoops, from the neck bit going down the sides using exactly the same technique. Right, so do you see that? So I've got it in, I'm lining up my first load of notches I've got just a little bit of tension, but hardly anything. I'll go backwards just so you can see. See, it doesn't like going backwards. Anyway, forget going backwards. Do you see how much control we have? It's really good. Now I'm not going to go backwards and forwards because it will get reinforced when I put the ties in. So look what we've done. We've done at the the neck, we've done it down the side that goes under the arm and then, oops, ties at the back. So I want you to do this other side here and then I want you to start going around here. Now when you go around this bend, you probably will need a little tiny bit more stretch. Just like when you add ribbing, when you go around bends, you add just a little bit 
more stretch but I want you to stop here I don't want you to go down your tie and then when you've done that you can then go down that side of the leg but remember we want you to stop a couple of centimeters away from the crotch bit down there don't sew across the bottom very important and when you've done that then begin on the other side so where you get this sort of thing okay where there's just a little bit you've gone in a little bit trim that back to the edge of the elastic okay it's fine that you've done it but you don't want that there for when you turn it through because you want a nice smooth curve there so just carefully trim it back with sharp scissors to the elastic to the elastic edge okay so a little point about um stretching how much whether to if you're nervous about stretching it a little bit because it is a little bit i'd say it's far better not to stretch the elastic than to overstretch the elastic so if you're nervous don't stretch it okay um so look this is what we've done so far now i'm going to go from the notch that signifies the edge of my um ties and i'm going to come down the leg and stop a bit away from the crotch on both sides right so all those bits where you st we stopped with the elastic and down at the crotch you need to now stitch those seams so using the same sort of zigzag stitch and the same kind of seam allowance imagining that you've got your half centimeter elastic there or quarter inch um, yeah you're just gonna stitch along up and back backwards and forwards yeah same on the other tie and then the same coming down the crotch there but not across not across right i want you to have a really good look at what we've done so i'll try and slowly move around so look how we have applied the elastic but stopped for where we do the ties if you're having ties on the hip that's the ties on the hip yeah and then we've come down here so this is on the front of the swimsuit, yeah? We've stopped with the elastic, but then we finished off the rest of the seam of the zigzag and we have not sewn across the crotch because that's actually where we turn the whole thing inside out. So that's what you have so far. But now what we're gonna do, beginning with the top, we're just gonna carefully snip across very carefully on both sides and we're going to push our spaghetti ties stretchy ones up into it and if you think that your fabric is a bit weak put a bit of a stabilizer on the front and the back of this fabric okay and then you're going to stitch across a couple of times to hold all your stitches and to hold it in place. So I've got my ties. Now the other thing I think I should tell you is there's sort of a right side and a wrong side to your tie because the seam ends up forming, falling at the back of the tie. So I'm very carefully cutting across here carefully <laughs> so I get a little access hole in there and I'm going to pass this tie up inside through the crotch so I'm going to get my hand into the crotch so that it comes out a little bit right now because because can you see now, because I said that I'm going to have the black side as my good side, <laughs> that's why I've got the good side facing the black. Now, I'm just going to stitch across there. 
quite a few times. I might reinforce it with a bit of stabiliser. So I've got the stabiliser on the top and underneath as well and I've got it on a straight stitch going backwards and forwards going across and don't go too many times but it's good to go over a couple of times and also I would leave a little bit of a tail there don't cut it really close now I want you to do that I want you to do it to both both of the neck bits but also the ties that go around the side so just there so you've put it in both of the top bits now I want you to do it on the ties that come around the side and tie at the back so same thing you just chop it off the point enough to get your tie through reinforce it with some stabiliser and sew backwards and forwards Right. Oh. So we've done all of that and that is just the front, remember. We've still got to do the back, but I couldn't resist um, revealing the reveal. So should we have a look what happens when we pull it all the right way round? Because it is very exciting and we'll do that on the table. So look, this is what we've got so far, which I think looks really nice. I thought I was going to prefer the black side. Um, I've just tied that side in a knot so you can see how this one will be, okay? But look how neat it looks. Now you don't need to do any understitching. I think it's absolutely fine, just like this. So we haven't finished yet because we need to do the back. Now, we'll do the back in the same way, so I'll show you. So, for the back, you're going to be doing that same zigzag stitch, so don't forget that. It's a zigzag stitch that's as wide as your elastic, and you're going to place it fairly close to the edge, like that, in the way that I showed you before but stop a couple of centimetres away from the end and start where you've put a notch that signifies your extra that you added on for your tie. You're going to apply it onto both sides of the, your bottom, okay, or the top of your leg, and then you're going to apply it just from the notch where your tie begins, coming across the back. Now I recommend a little bit of stretch there across the back, but if you're scared of doing the stretch, don't worry, because when you pull the ties, it will pull it tight. So doing the same zigzag stitch, okay? And then we're nearly done. Right, so when you've stitched on your elastic in the places that you're supposed to do, which is from the notch, down, stopping a couple of centimetres from the crotch, and not stitching across there. Just trying to overemphasize that. Then you've got to zig, using your same zigzag stitch, go across, up and along your ties. Now, if you sew too close to the edge, sometimes the sewing machine doesn't like it. So you might want to be a little bit of a way in. Right, so we can turn this the right way around now as well, can we? Yep, yeah, we can turn it the right way around. And where we do that is through the crotch again. So then it looks like this. So I've given it a little bit of extra stretch around that area because I know on my toile, when I made my toile and the other ones, I needed just a little bit more there. So I was planning to have the black side as my right side, but I'm still not sure. So um, let's just put it together. I'll put it together with the stripes on the outside so you can see. So all these bits where it's like gathered, they become flat when you put it on because it stretches, yeah? So let's just tie these up just to have a look. So you really need to see it on. It's a bit hard to show you when it's off. So that's kind of like that. That goes into there, that gets tied to there. 
So you end up with something that looks a bit like this, which I think is pretty good. Now when it's on, everything all stretches out, okay, and it looks really fat, no, flat. I quite like the stripy side, but really, I think I wanted it to be the black side as the right side. Should we just have a look? Right, we'll fiddle with them properly afterwards, but let's imagine we are having the black side as the right side. So the first thing I want you to do now is just stitch across here using a zigzag stitch. So then what we need to do is we need to put it so it goes, maybe if I turn this inside out, right, that's better. So I want the black side to be the right side. If you want the stripy side to be the right side, then you attach this now to the stripy side, right sides together. So I want the black side to be the right side. I'm matching up my um, center notches and I'm matching up the edges really perfectly. She says. And then I'm just going to sew it across here. So I'm inside the hole of the crotch, yeah? As in the hole, not, is, not WH hole. And I'm going to stitch across there using a zigzag stitch. Look at that. That is pretty damn good. Now, obviously, my dressmaker's dummy doesn't have a bottom, <laughs> so I can't show the back very well. But look how neat. Look how neat it looks. Now, I've put it on the blue side. But I've put it on the stripy side, but obviously, you know, it is reversible. So I'll show you the black side as well. So this is the black side which does look really elegant, very nice. We've got a soggy bottom, again, not a soggy bottom. Saggy bottom, it's not a cake, although it is like making a cake. Um, which side do you prefer, the stripy side or the black side? So remember that these are reversible, okay, but you don't have to make them like that. Thank you so much for watching Stitches TV. Go back and look at our previous video to see more of these swimsuits to give you some inspiration. And comment below if you think I should make it as a pattern. Should I make it as a pattern? Or like a PDF download? Anyway, thank you. See you again very soon. Bye.